In the cold, windswept climates of the Arctic and the Alpine, it's difficult, if not impossible, for plants to grow. But there is one plant well adapted to these harsh conditions, and once it becomes established, it enables other alpine vegetation to take root. V. Cooper takes a look. You can see this one in particular is just a huge mound. Botanist Ken Marr is talking about moss campion, which is not actually a moss. It's actually one of the most important plants in the Alpine and the Arctic. This is the moss campion cushion. And if you look closely, you can see some other small plants that are getting established. They're growing on this cushion. It occurs in all the high mountain areas, but it's, it's really important ecological role is as a pioneer species. A pioneer species is the first to grow after the landscape is disturbed, whether that's by fire, flood, bulldozing, or the last ice age. You have this absolutely barren landscape. The ice has scraped away all the vegetation. So a lot of plants can't grow on that kind of landscape. But a few species, such as moss campion, can pioneer and colonize in that type of habitat. Once it becomes established after dozens, perhaps hundreds of years, um, these cushions grow very slowly. Other plants get established as well. So it's adapted for growing in this environment close to the ground because it's cold. It's perfectly adapted for really windswept uh, slopes where no other plants can grow. So this is um, some specimens who were mounted by volunteers. Now most of the specimens in the museum's botany collection are flat and relatively easy to mount for storage, but not moss campion. These specimens are really challenging to mount and to have them somewhat resemble what they look like in life. They've been mounted in different parts of the paper so that when they're stacked in the collection they won't form one uneven lump. Marr is pleased to have specimens of this important pioneer species because without moss campion... It's possible that no other plants could get established or it would happen much more slowly. But because of moss campion, a once barren landscape may transition, though it could take hundreds or even thousands of years, into a lush alpine meadow. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.